couple of weeks ago, uh, Steve Cohen, no, not the chiropractor, <laughs> or the other chiropractor, the, uh, the congressman from uh, Tennessee went on the floor of the House and he compared what he called Republican uh, lies about health care to the big lie Joseph That's Goebbels right. popularized in perpetrating Nazi atrocities. Uh, we, along with others in the uh, uh, media and, and government, hit him pretty hard. Done. Next. Until the leading commentators on this network use this kind of language. So let's you and I get it's together just not right true, now Richard. and say that there's, well, that is true. I mean, listen, you know, people can be the judge of it. You Maybe you and they I don't can. watch it. I don't know if you sit and much, watch but. our programming uh, every night, but I watch it every day, and you're wrong. <laughs> so I was supposed to let that go? I mean, you know, I, mean, I watch Fox all the time. They use Nazi like 16-year-olds use like. I mean, it's like a, it's a stutter. It's like a, Duh, there's nothing on TV, Nazi. <laughs> so we did the usual crap, a uh, bunch of clips, Fox hosts using Nazi comparisons on their political opponents, the head of Fox News calling political opponents Nazis, someone doing it actually on Megyn Kelly's program to Megyn Kelly. <laughs> Point taken, good time had by all. <laughs> and the symbiotic cycle of cable life continues until I realized I had hurt someone. Um. <laughs> someone. Someone that I care about. John Stewart sees it a bit differently. He did not defend Cohen. He didn't defend the man. But he believes there's hypocrisy in play and that I, your humble correspondent, am a part of it. If you look back at what happened in Germany, you cannot escape the similarities between what Hitler and his cutthroats did back then and the hate-filled blogs, what they're doing now. That clip was from February 28, 2008, and it was edited by the Stewart folks. Here is the context to that letter and that statement. A. <laughs> Why you use the Nazi reference doesn't really matter in this. The segment is for Megyn Kelly to take offense to, not you. <laughs> it's not all about you, Bill. <laughs> the segment was to show, contrary to Ms. Kelly's statement, that it's not the type of rhetoric used on Fox News, that it actually does appear quite frequent. <laughs> That's all it was. Why you compared Ariana Huffington or the Huffington Post to Nazi propaganda is immaterial in this case. <laughs> Although since you seem interested in getting into it. <laughs> the court will allow your witness. Nancy Reagan fell, fell down, and had to be taken to the hospital. Shortly after that, this appeared on the Huffington Post. Quote, like her evil husband, she has lived far too long. Here's hoping the hag suffers for several weeks, then croaks in the tub, unquote. Now, I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that my comparison to the vile Nazi propaganda machine is dead on. You can make the call on that. First of all, let me say this. Two things. One, that was a horrible thing for someone to write. And whatever vicious loser, or if I may put it in your parlance, pinhead, whoever wrote that deserves condemnation. In fact, television condemnation. But being a heartless douche isn't exactly the same as being a Nazi propagandist. <laughs> and number two, the quote that you're using was from a commenter on a blog post. I'm not sure that you want to go down the Nazi road when you're judging an organization by the worst things that have ever been posted on that organization's website. Will the court allow Exhibit B? This is from foxnation.com today from Obama Blows. <laughs> hey, Michelle, saw your fat arse at your hubby's speech. Have you looked at your caboose in the mirror lately? It appears you're hauling around about 100 excess pounds in your trunk. Try exercise, you disgusting pig. <laughs> 23 people liked this. <laughs> as truly horrible as these blog posts are, that doesn't make even the people making these comments Nazis or akin to Nazi propagandists. And it certainly doesn't make you or the moderators of FoxNation.com Nazi sympathizers, Gestapo, brown shirts, or 
people who play Castle Wolfenstein and root for the wrong team. <laughs> so my point was, contrary to what your colleague, Ms. Kelly, was suggesting, that Fox commentators do use Nazi analogies, and your point seemed to be, yeah, but I had a good reason. <laughs> the problem with that is, everybody thinks they have a good reason. Steve Cohen thought he had a good reason. It's like speeding. I yelled at Steve Cohen for speeding. Megyn Kelly yelled at Steve Cohen for speeding, and then she said, good thing we don't speed. And I said, look at all them people speeding right there. <laughs> and then you said, you took that out of context. I was late. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Bill. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. You're late a lot. There's no difference between the KKK and the Nazis, who have websites, than the Daily Coast. These far-left Nazis, and that's what they are. Bill, I actually respect you. I even... Blah. I even... Blah. I even... Blah. Like... I like you. And I like the fact that you will come on other shows to be challenged and have others on your show to challenge you, unlike some of your colleagues. Glenn Beck! <laughs> but honestly, I stand by the bit. Truth is, all I wanted was for Megyn Kelly to notice me. <laughs> That's what happens when you try and get a pretty girl to call.